Luke 21, 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. I want to start off by giving all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole elect. It's your brother Lakuma coming to you again with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And hopefully, this lesson is edifying to the elect. All right, so basically, I just want to lay them back off the brother Kazak from the GMS Jackson, Mississippi camp. You know, he posted this video yesterday, Edom is hurt by IUIC, sign of Yahweh Shah. And that's right, man. These devils, they, they terrified right now, man, because this is the true depiction of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. You know, Jesus is not his name. Jesus Christ is not his name. You know, the letter J came into an existence, you know, like, maybe a few hundred years ago, man. And it derives from the letter I. They just put a hook on it. You know, and like I say, this is the true depiction of whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. And these devils are hurt by that. You know, I'm just going to probably entitle this lesson a uh, quick lamb back. But yeah, man, I want to, I'm, I'm going to get into a few scriptures. But first, I'm going to get that definition of gainsay because you know, they want to try to, when we bring this truth out, you know, they want to act like they don't believe it. You know, they can't, they can't, in all actuality, the heathens, they can't receive it, man, because this understanding wasn't given unto them. You know, or if that person looked like a heathen and can understand what we bring out, you know, maybe they are Israelites. You know, they just look like the other nations because Israel was scattered into all nations. Thus said the scriptures. So right now I'm gonna get that definition right quick of gainsay. <laughs> so basically this is the definition of gainsay. It says to declare to be untrue or invalid. You know, and they don't they don't want to believe <laughs> that Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ, was a so called black man, man. You know, they want to they want to declare that to be untrue when the scripture clearly tells you, you know, that he had feet like brass, you know, as if burned inside of a furnace, man. If you burn anything inside of a furnace, man, it's going to come out very, very, very dark, man. It's going to come out black. Not even only if you burn it, man, but take your hands and put your hand on the inside of a furnace, not with it being lit. You know, just take your hand and wipe the wall of that furnace, man. You're going to have black smut on your hand, man. You know, they want to try to say that Yahweh was Middle Eastern, man. But Middle East, Middle Eastern is not a nationality, man. You know, you got you got people over there in the Middle East, such as the uh, the Arabians, the Ishmaelites. They are dark skinned people just like us. Some of them are even darker than us so-called African Americans, man. But they are they they are not called black. You know, because those bowers and proverbs wasn't put on them as a nation, as a curse. That was only put on us Israelites to be called blacks, niggas, you know, Hispanics, wetbacks, you know, Indians, which means savages. You know, those those curses wasn't put on the other na the, the other dark skinned nations, man. It was just put on us Israelites. <laughs> but I'm gonna get some more on that definition. It says these are some synonyms for um gainsay. It says contradict, deny, disaffirm, disallow, disavow, disclaim, disconfirm, disown, negate, negative. Refute, reject, repudiate. And scrolling down. And yeah, I'm in the um I'm in the Miriam Webster. This is the definition of um this is the definition of gainsay in the Miriam Webster. I just Googled it. It says uh mean to refuse 
to accept as true or valid, it says, implies a firm refusal to accept as true, to grant or concede or to acknowledge the existence or claims of, implies disputing the truth of what another has said, implies an open or flat denial, <laughs> implies not so much an international opposition as some inherent incompatibility. So yeah, man, you know, that's basically the meaning of gainsay, man. In all actuality, they just trying to refuse the truth, man. You cannot refuse this truth, man. You know, I, you, I see they, they, they say the names of, of Christ and Jesus in which they know that that's not the name. I don't know why they push it, you know, but I guess it's because some of these ignorant individuals out here don't want to accept the name Yahweh Shah and Yahweh. So I guess that's why they use that name. But ultimately, if you don't come back to the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, meaning Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because we we going we we got to call on those names in the time of trouble. The scripture says, you know, that the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, are strong towers. Is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe, man. You know, when times of trouble come, those are the names that we're going to call on. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Meaning Yahweh in the name Yahweh Shah. Our Lord and Savior. And as you can see on the sign, you know, it says, this sign was put up <laughs> down there in uh, Louisiana somewhere, I believe. But I'm going to play some of the video. And I'm going I'm to stop it at, at, at certain points and make a... Uh, I'm going to stop it at certain time points and make my point, you know, basically with scriptures. But the sign, it got Revelation 1, 14 through 15, King James Version. That's where you can, that's basically where you can get the depiction of Yahweh and how he looks. It says Christ's skin color, even though we know him as Yahweh that's his real name. And Christ mean the anoint, it's supposed to mean the anointed one, but it's really Mashiach, Hamashiach, the anointed one. It says, I can't really see that, but <laughs> I can't really see what that say because it's so small, but I'm going to go to the scriptures and I'm going to get it. So it really don't matter. But, you know, it says Christ's skin color, Christ's eye color, Christ was an Israelite, Christ's hair texture. And all of that is in the scriptures, man. So let's see, see where I'm going to go next. I got I got a few precepts. I ain't going to make it too long, but I didn't really put these precepts in order or nothing like that. But, you know, I'm going to bring them out, man. Because this is the time. This is the time of knowing the truth, man. This is the time of knowing the truth. This is, uh, let's see. See where I'm gonna go. Um, okay, let's get Baruch two and thirty. I'll go there first. And like I say, I'm gonna let the video play. I just want to bring out a couple of quick points. It says Baruch two and thirty. It says, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, meaning you Israelites, you are stiff-necked, man." You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latino, Native, and Seminole Indians. You are the Israelites, but you are stiff-necked right now. You don't want to, a lot of you are, are learning that you are the Israelites, but, but you don't want to repent, man. When you come into this knowledge and understand that you are an Israelite, you got to repent for your sins. Because your house is getting ready to come back, and he is getting ready to come back with fierce anger, man. That's the only way you're going to be hidden from your house's anger. It's to repent for the sins that you have done in sight, in the sight of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You got to repent for that. And a lot of y'all, y'all know that y'all are Israelites. And knowing is half the battle. You know you Israelites, but you don't want to repent. And if you don't repent, ultimately you're going to be destroyed. It says, for I knew, Baruch 2 and 30, for I knew that they would not hear me. 
because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. It's like it. So like it, these sinuses begin to me, man. We need, man, all of us need new bodies, man. All of us. Sinuses be dealing with me bad, man. But, you know, work must go on, man. But like it says, uh, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's what you see going on, man. You got us Israelites remembering ourselves and who we are. Especially with, with, with a sign like this. Hey, man, it's going to cause you to raise questions. It's going to raise up a, a, a red flag. It's going to be like, hold up. Hold up, man. The, the Lord look like us? Hold up. Let me, it's time to go to these scriptures now and see what they really say, man. You know? See, this this this, this sign pushes the, the correct vibration of what the Lord and Savior look like. He don't look like no, no Edomite in which are you so-called white people. The Lord is not an Edomite, man. Looking like an Edomite is a curse, man, because you don't have, you don't produce, you don't possess the gene that produces melanin, man. You know, that's a, that's a recessive gene to you Edomites. That's why y'all have no melanin, man. That's a curse. But don't get it twisted. We know our people are going to, some of our people are going to look like Edomites, man, because the Israelites, we are under curses, man. You know, Israel is going to look like all the other nations. But their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. See, the seed is determined by the father because the man, the man possesses the seed. And you are what your forefather is. You are what your father is. So if your father is a so-called African-American and he plant a seed in, 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 in let's say, a, a so-called Chinese, you're still going to be considered an African-American in which the African-American man is the Israelite man. So-called African-American man. He's, he's, he, is, he is the Israelite that the Bible talk about, man, because our people went into captivity on slave ships, man. We came ultimately to the Americas and all there are other places, man, where we were scattered. We are the Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Hispanic, Latino, Native, and Seminole Indians, man. So-called. But we are stiff-necked people, man. But in the land of our captivities, we are remembering ourselves. And that's bringing fear upon these people, man. They really have fear in their hearts and their minds. Because they know what they've been doing to the Lord's chosen seed line, man. They haven't been treating us fair. You know, they've been killing us, you know. Hey, man, generations, generations of, uh, of lynchings, all kinds of stuff, man. So these people, they don't want to accept the fact that Yahweh looks like us because they know if they accept that fact, then they're going to have to be judged for everything that they did, man, in the past. Because all of us are reincarnated, man. We got past sins and all we got sins and all that we committed in our past lives that we got to pay for. That's why it's important to repent. And only the nation of Israel can repent, man. Thus says Acts 5, 29 through 31, man. Only only Israel can repent and be forgiven for sins. But okay, so now <clears throat> I think I'm going to let a little bit of this video play. And then I'm going to get some more scriptures. Sign located at the intersection of South 18th Street and Texas Avenue in Monroe is turning heads for some residents. Fox 14's Brian Briggs brings us more information about the religious group behind the sign and how one resident feels about it being in Northeast Louisiana. If you influence somebody a little, just a little bit uh, and they run with that, that can go any route. Okay, he said if you if you get somebody to look at that and they run with it, that could go another route. 
So let's get this right here. Let's get this priest up. Let's get uh <clears throat> let's get Habakkuk two and I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved, meaning corrected. And the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushah answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And the point I brought out that scripture is because it says, because he made the statement, you know, they may run, they may run. Let's 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 let it play one more time. Me in Northeast Louisiana. If you influence somebody just a little bit, uh, and they run with that, that can go any route. Hunter Bill. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they look at that and run with that. That could go another route because first of all you need to look at that and you need to take that into consideration and you need to run and go repent man you so-called negroes hispanic latino the native and seminole indians man you need to run and go and repent asap man habakkuk two and two it says and the lord answered me and said write the vision that's part of that vision right there man it says, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And they got they got scriptures on that on that sign, man. And it's plain to see that so-called Negro face, man. And they hate that, man. They hate that, man. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. This time right here, man. Because this is surely the end. This is the time. Well, we are remembering ourselves, man. This is that time. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end, it shall surely speak. Hey, Amen. That sign is speaking to people, man. That sign is speaking to you, you heathens and the nation of Israel, whether you be a part of the two-third or the one-third. That sign is speaking, man. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know? Hey, basically, that's going into the destruction of you Edomites. But, hey, it's twofold, man. It could be used for this situation, too. So let's let, let's let a little bit more play. South 18th Street, Texas Avenue, Monroe, and had to say something. The sign displays information about the religious group Israel United in Christ, based out of Jackson, Mississippi. But it's not about what's on the sign that's turning heads. IUIC is a smaller denomination of the Black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, it said they are the they are the Black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, first of all, that's where I got to stop it at because we are not black, man. We are not black. We are all different shades of brown. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get that definition of black. And this is in, in the Merriam-Webster too. It says, the first it says of the color black. Okay. Now you got number two. A. It says of or relating to any of various population groups having dark pigmentation of the skin and then at the bottom it got black Americans we're not black it says of or relating to African American people or their culture black literature a black college black pride black studies number three it says dressed in black that's besides the point okay when you get down to number five a it says characterized by the absence of light Ooh, now that's heavy, man. That's spiritual when it's it, that's spiritual within itself. It says characterized by the absence of light, and by 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 you calling yourself black, that means you are absent to this light, man. And what's that light? You know, being 
being something being black is absent of light that's that could be literal light a light shining in a dark area gives that area light but in a spiritual sense you know being void of that light is being void of this wisdom knowledge and understanding because you don't possess wisdom knowledge and understanding you are accepting you are accepting to that proverb of being black man being called black when you can clearly look at your skin and see that you're brown man being called black and being called white are two socially constructed words man I did a lesson on that in the past, man, being called black and white are, are social constructs because being black is everything negative and the opposite of black is everything positive. The opposite of being black is white and white meaning everything positive, man. But calling yourself black, you know, like they got they got all of these uh protests going on with the black lives matter you're not black man so you shouldn't even be associating yourself with that movement man because you're not black see you jakes man you are you are highly deceived because you don't possess this light this wisdom knowledge and understanding so you are black you are black consider yourself black man because you are void of this light okay so now I'm gonna come back to that word black, but now I want to get, I want to get, uh, let's get, let's see, let's get the meaning of light right quick. Okay, this is just the regular Google dictionary on the word light. It says the natural agent that stimulates sight and make things visible. Number two. An expression in someone's eyes indicating a particular emotion or mood. Okay. Let's see. If, let's see. Um, the rest basically irrelevant, but I want to stick with that number one. It says the natural agent that stimulates sight and make things visible. Okay. So now... Let's get this scripture right here. Because basically, the gospel is the light, man. That you want to have, man. You want to have this gospel. Let's see. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. Now, this proves what light you ought to have man so you won't be considering yourself black this is uh second corinthians 4 and i'm gonna just start at one it says therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the most high this is the point but if our gospel be hid it is hidden to them that are lost in whom the most high of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. See? So basically, so like you let me get verse 5 to verse 6. It says, For we preach not ourselves, but um, Hamashiach Yahweh the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh's sake. For the Most High who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. So basically, hey, you avoid of this light. That's why you're calling yourself black, man. That's why they call you black. Because you don't know who you are. You don't know who you are, man. You don't have knowledge of these scriptures. These scriptures tell us who we are. These scriptures tell us who we started out being. 
you know it tells us where we went off it tells us how to how to how to how to get come back to our power and it tells us what's going to happen in the future man this bible is all about the israelites and the destruction and downfall of the other nations but the point is this is the light that the elect possess man that's why we're not running around here calling ourselves black man not running around here calling ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible talk about. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. They just putting black on it to keep the to, to keep the masses confused, man. Okay, they're the black is Hebrew Israelites, but those those uh those gutter rats over there in Israel right now. They are they are they are the real Hebrew Israelites. Nah, nah, man. That's not the case, man. That's not the case. What these people are witnessing is and what we've come to the knowledge is that, you know, our identity has been stolen. You know, the world is witnessing the biggest case of identity theft ever. And that will ever be, man. This is the biggest case of identity theft that that has that the world has ever seen and will ever see, man. Because after the after after the the, the so called white supremacy in, hey, we go in rulership, man. Starting with your house, man. We go into rulership, and our world is going to be the kingdom of heaven. That's not going to ever end. We're going to be in rulership forever, man. And that's why we make haste, man. Just like the brother name, the, the name of this brother Page, man, hasting his coming, man. You ought to want your Howard shot to come back and put these devils in their place, man. These proud devils, man. Only a proud devil is saying what these people are saying on this video. Let's see if I can. If I want to get some more. Yeah, let's get one more. This is uh First Peter chapter two verse nine. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation." a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness called us out of calling ourselves black into his marvelous light see we don't call ourselves black no more because we realize that we are the Hebrew Israelites we are the Lord's chosen people man you know, we know for a fact that it's a chosen within that chosen seed line in which is the elect, you know, it's the one third and the two third going to be put to death on this side. But, but, um, you know, ultimately all of us, we are, we still are, are of that righteous seed, man. You know, even though two thirds are wicked on this side, but all of Israel is still going to inherit the kingdom. Even the most wickedest nigger on this side, he's going to come back into the kingdom still wealthy. You know, you know, Lord willing, we build those men, you know, of the elect, the 144,000 and the rest of the innumerable multitude, man. But, you know, we fight. Those of us that go out on the highways and byways, we fight to be a part of that 144,000, man. The governing body. You know, starting with your house on down, man. You know, we have received we have received this understanding through the spirit and power of your Hashem Yahushah for putting it on our elder apostle to her, man, on down to his younger brothers, man. The water your Hashem Yahushah, man. You know, because our elder apostles, Apostle Taha, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Ramlau, you know, and the other apostle, I, I forget his name, Sakharan, I think, you know, they've been doing, they've been doing this for decades, man. They've been doing this for decades, man. But, you know, I'm not going to keep rambling. Let's get some more of this video. Let me get some more scriptures. Hold on, let me see if I want to go back to that word light again. Now that was pretty much it on on that word light. But let's get some more of that black. 
right quick. Um, I left off at five. It says characterized by the absence of light because they don't have they don't have the good news of this gospel. That's why they don't. That's why they are absent of that light, man. Hey, that's spiritual. It says reflecting or transmitting little or no light. And I just read the scripture. <laughs> hey, that we we are that peculiar people, man. That's supposed to give light to the world. It says serve without. No, nah, that's that's irrelevant. Um. Uh, number six a it says old-fashioned liter literary, thoroughly sinister or evil. You know that's what they look at us as when they are the wicked, you so-called Edomites. Uh, letter B, it says, indicative of condemnation or discredit. It says, connected with or invoking the supernatural and especially the devil. Number eight, very sad, gloomy, or chlamydias. Calamitous. Calamitous. Uh, letter B, it says, marked by the occurrences of disaster. Uh, it says, characterized by hostility or angry discontent. Hey, that's that's another reason why they call us black Hebrew Israelites. I'm going to read that one again. Number nine, A, it says, characterized by hostility or angry discontent. Uh, in parentheses, it has, it has black resentment fill his heart. So let's go to letter B. It says distorted or darkened by anger. That's another reason why they call us black. Number 10, having dark skin, hair, and eyes. And it says in parentheses, the black Irish. Hmm. You know, that should raise some antennas. Um, yeah, I get this one. This, this is number 12A. It says of propaganda, conducting conduct it so as to appear to originate within an enemy country and designed to weaken enemy morale that's spiritual right there man your morale is being weakened by calling your damn self black man and by them calling you black your morale is weakened man but the elect morale is not weakened because we know who we are we have been called into this marvelous light man And this is and this is exactly what it is. It says black propaganda is the business of going to elaborate ends to spread half true, misleading, or downright false information to get your enemy in trouble. Woo Man, that's heavy. I'm gonna get letter B. It says characterized by or connected with the use of black propaganda. But man, it's a lot, man, on this word black, man. It's a lot, it's a lot, man. I encourage I'm not gonna get it all, but I encourage you listeners, man, to go and look up this word black, man. To go and look up this word black in the Miriam Webster. It's heavy. It got heavy points in it, man. You know, li heavy literal points and heavy spiritual points. But let's get some more of this video. <laughs> by the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is due to affiliations made by those charged with hate crimes. The Anti-Defamation League breaks them down as follows. Another sect of Black Hebrew Israelites is Israel United in Christ. The group's mission is to spread the Black Hebrew Israelite ideology and to educate Black individuals of their true place in society. They are committed to spreading the ideology globally and recruiting as many Black individuals as possible. This also includes individuals... And we're not... And let's get that correct right now. Hey, that's what they're doing. But us over here at GMS, Great Millstone, starting with our elder apostle to haul on down to his younger brothers, we're not trying to gather all these individuals because we know ultimately that the two thirds, they're not going to receive this, man. So we're only fishing for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. The elect are going to hear these words. They're going to they're going to they're, they're going to they're going to repent and ultimately you know, they're going to call on the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and, and hopefully be saved from this coming destruction, man. We're not trying to reach every single uh, so-called black person. 
every single Latino person or native or Seminole Indian person. We're not trying to reach every person, man. You know, ultimately the Heavenly Father, he's, he's going to make his word go by all the ears of the Israelites. Even though two thirds are not going to accept, but the Most High, he is all powerful, man. He's going to make his word go by the ear of every Israelite so that they, they so that they cannot have so that they cannot say that they didn't know that nobody told them because this truth is all over the Internet, man. You know, the brother just posted a video the other day. Somebody recorded the uh, some of the GMS brothers down there in Orlando on TikTok. So the truth is on TikTok now, man. This truth is going out on all platforms, man, all over news sources. So you're not going to have no more cloak for your sin. As Yahweh Shah said, man, you're not going to have no more cloak for your sin, man. So let's get the rest of this video. Jewels of Latino and Native American descent let's on their official website. Let's rewind Society. Globally and recruiting as many black individuals as possible. This also includes individuals of Latino and Native American descent. Yeah, it also includes people of Native, Indian, and Latino descent, man. The scripture says Judah and Israel were oppressed together. All the hell them fans refused to let them go, man. Those are our brethren. We make up the the southern in which in which are us so-called Negroes. The Southern Kingdom and all the the so-called the so-called um, Latin tribes and Indian tribes, they are the they make up the Northern Kingdom. You know, we all suffer these curses together, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible talk about, and that goes to show that we are not just all so-called black. Let's get some more of this. Their official website they state the following. Yes, that was the past, not meant to stir up bitterness, but rather a desire for truth. Okay, it says, not meant to stir up bitterness. Hey, but that's what the truth does, man. That's what the truth does. It stir up bitterness and hate, man. Let's prove that. Let's prove that. Okay. This is, um, this is Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. And we know who wrote Galatians. Paul wrote Galatians. It says, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? See? This truth, hey man, this truth hurt people, man. And ultimately, this truth is for you Israelites, you two-third Israelites. But y'all hate us for coming out with the truth. Why? Because y'all got so much love for the so-called white man and the other nations, man. Y'all got so much love. And, and the majority of y'all are in the bed with the other nations. <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> Salakia. Especially our women. Y'all are in the bed with the other nations, man. We know we know that if an Israelite man, you know, lie down with a heathen, they're gonna bring back an Israelite child, man. But you women. Laying down with these heathens, y'all are going to bring back heathen children, which are going to be taken and destroyed, you know? So, you know, hey, this truth, this truth, it, it, it stirs up hatred. You know, let's get some more of the video. Knowing the past will make us understand the future. Knowing the past, according to the Lord, will help alleviate many things that trouble our minds. Mother he said alleviate many things. That trouble our mind. Of course, man. Look. This is uh, John 14 and 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in, in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. That's why we're coming into the knowledge of who we are. Hey, because that, that 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 Holy Spirit, man, hey, it's all over this place, man. You know, it's all over the elect right now. Because ultimately, the elect are the ones that's going to repent. You know, and feel sorry for what they did. But these scriptures, they comfort us, man. The good—that's why it's called the good news of the gospel. 
because we understand that Yahweh Shai only died for the nation of Israel. Only the nation of Israel can repent. In heaven, when you read Revelation 21 and 10 on down a little bit, it tell you who the kingdom of heaven is for, man. It's only for the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Heaven has 12 gates, all with the 12 tribes of the children of Israel names on them, man. Heaven is not for you other nations, you heathens, man. You know? You're going to serve slavery and captivity, man, just as the Heavenly Father made us do, man. He's going to make you do the same thing, man, under your Havashah. You're going to have to serve out your sentence, man. You know? But yeah, man, the comforter, it alleviates, it alleviates that, man. All claims that they'll be preaching their message in a non- let's, let's get that. Bruce, knowing the past will make us understand the future. Knowing the past according to the Lord will help alleviate many things that trouble our minds. Oh. While this group claims that they'll be preaching their message in a non-violent way, residents have mixed emotions about the sign being here and their presence here in the Twin Cities. Yeah, residents have mixed emotions. <laughs> I know they do, man. Because they hate us for telling the truth, man. You got you got some jakes that's going to hate that sign <laughs> because they know it's going to stir up the so-called white people and they're going to be pissed. Hey man, to hell with you niggas, man. We're going to stand boldly in the face of those that afflict us, man. We're going to stand boldly, man, so we can be saved up out of this hell, man. They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. When those chariots, those so-called UFOs, beam us, to, beam us up out of this hell, man. And this place get hit with thermonuclear destructions. And y'all going to be still on the ground, man, to get your asses burnt off. Because ultimately... You didn't you, you you didn't want the white man to get mad at this stuff, man. Hey man, the hell with the so called white man, man. The so called white man, woman, and child are gonna be destroyed in thermonuclear destruction. That's if you don't have if you don't have if you don't have enough money to get you a deep underground military bunker, you're gonna be right on the surface to get your ass burnt up, man. And the, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to get beamed up in chariots, man. So that they don't have to take part in that destruction. So, let's stop rambling and let's get some more. Let's see where I want to go now. Let's see. I'll go ahead and get Romans 3. And I'm going to start at 1. It says... What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of the Most High. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou may that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome without when thou art judged. See? The point is, what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Because the Most High still going to do what he said he was going to do, man. Whether your ass believe it or not. Whether you believe that we are the Israelites or not. Whether you believe that that's the true depiction of of, of, of so-called Christ or not. The Most High is still going to bring judgment to this place and destroy it, man. Mainly America. America is going to be totally obliterated, man. He's not going to destroy the whole earth, man. That's that Christianity doctrine, man. And this guy here on the screen, he, he, he you can say he is a Christian, man. You know, he's coming in the spirit of a Christian, man. You know, with that religious, with that religious dogma on his brain, man. Let's get some more of the video, cause he gonna say a point. You know, he gonna be like, <laughs> even though it don't matter what the true depiction is, how the hell are you gonna say it don't matter what his depiction was? So that's basically saying that revelations, <laughs> that those scriptures don't matter, man. That's blasphemy, man. Let's get it. 
I've talked to a few who don't aren't out for violence. They're just for uh, spreading what they claim to be true. Just last year, you see, you saw a person who claimed to be a Hebrew Israelite um, attempt to kill people who they think are the fake Jews. Not that. Yeah, and that was a setup, man. You know, to 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 persecute the real. Hebrew Israelites that's coming in, in in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahusha, trying to wake up the elect, man. Yahweh Shah said, wait upon me until I rise up against the prey, man. So we're not taking up guns, going and killing nobody, man. Hey, that was a setup by you Edomites. Set those people up to do that, man. It matters, ultimately, uh, whether how the depiction of Christ is, but Let's what does matter you. is Okay, let's listen to this. Guy. Kill people who they think are the fake Jews. Not that it matters ultimately, uh, whether how the depiction of Christ is. He said that's what a goddamn devil would say. Not that it matters what the what the depiction of Christ was. Hey, that's what a damn devil would say, man. That's what you damn Christians believe in, man. That the depiction don't matter. Hey, that's some bullshit, man. The depiction does matter. Because when the elect see that true faith of, of what Yahweh Shai really looks like, it's gonna that, that comfort is gonna bring it back to their remembrance. Oh man, we are those people. Damn, I need to get down on my knees and repent, man. That's our power. He is our Lord and Savior. Because in, in Matthew 15 and 24, Yahweh Shai said it out of his own mouth. I am not come but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Those are the only people that he died for. He didn't die for no whole world, man. He died for the whole world of, of the nation of Israel. Mainly the elect. But he is not coming back for you damn heathens, man. You so-called white man that's talking that dumb shit, man. Why would he come back for you and you saying his depiction don't even matter? Tell me why would he come back for you, man. Tell me why, please. Somebody please tell me why, man. In the, in the comment section, somebody tell me why will he come back for an individual that says his depiction don't matter when it's recorded in Revelation, man. Revelation means to reveal. Come on, man. This guy is finished, man. This guy is through, man. Nuclear fire for you. But what does matter is uh, getting the truth across. and Okay. Not getting the truth across. Let's get the truth. Of what he really looks like. Because that sign is not false. That sign is the true depiction of what our Lord and Savior looks like. Okay. So let's go to Revelations chapter 1. It says, verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John John the revelator the vision was given unto John verse 2 who bear record of the word of the most high and of the testimony of Yahweh Shahamashiach and of all things that he saw so Christians love to say don't nobody know how he looked. That's blasphemy. It's recorded in the scriptures what he looked like. So you're going to sit up there and lie and say that John Reve the Revelator don't know what he looked like when the vision was given to him what he looked like to write it down and make it plain upon the table so he did read it that may run and go and repent, man? Or go and run and teach other people? Man, get the hell out of here, man. It says, verse 3, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. All right, so let's jump down to verse 10. It says, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me with a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega the first and the last and what thou seest write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto 
Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Laodicea and I turned to see the voice that spake with me and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle his head and his hairs were white like wool white in color woolly texture as white as snow and his eyes were a flame of fire so basically <laughs> so basically the iconoclasm of your heart of your how you know y'all been duped into believing that he's a so-called pale face man with long hair with long blonde hair and blue eyes so now when that depiction was out you wasn't saying that the true depiction don't really matter you was happy about that bullshit man y'all devils was happy about that man but now that the true depiction of Yahweh Shai is out y'all are hurt by this sign man y'all are hurt by that y'all are hurt by that man and all glory, honor, and praise be to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, man. Bashem Rakakwadash meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit, man. Rakakwadash, Spirit Holy. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters <laughs> so that's the you can't man if you if, man you Christians are finished out here saying that the true depiction of him don't really matter man that's blasphemy and then to you other Christians they're saying don't nobody know how he look okay probably not nobody of this lifetime this generation but it was recorded how he looks all we got to do is go back to Revelation 1 verse 10 and read on down man that's all we got to do. So so we do know how he look. And he look exact. We ain't going to say he look exactly like what's on that sign. But that's a more fair depiction of what he actually look like, man. Not no damn Edomite with leprosy, man. He don't look like a fool leprous, man. He is not coming back with that curse. Come on, man. Let's get some more of the video. Running laws. It's Fox 14 News. Fox 14 tried to reach out to the IUCIU Jackson office, but they were unavailable for comment. Bailey says he's open to conversations with the group should they decide to set up a local branch here. <laughs> Sign located at. Cool. <laughs> and that's basically the end of the video, man. You know? But, man, we are coming into the time where, you know, like Apostle Tahar said, man, you know, our elder Apostle Tahar, our beloved Apostle, you know, he he, he said that he feel like probably the elect is already sealed, man, because we got all these calamities, you know, coming upon the earth right now, man. The Lord is speeding up these prophecies, man. The Lord is speeding up these prophecies, man. You know, and like I said earlier, you know, they, they, they are... When, when, when the depiction of that, that, that Edomite was up everywhere, they was happy about that. Oh, the Lord looks like us. But now the depiction, the true depiction is up and the Lord look like so-called Negroes. Hey, they don't want, hey, <laughs> they don't want to hear that, man. They trying to gain say no. But let's get this. This is uh first Maccabees 3 and 48. It says straight to the point. It says, and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. And when did they do that? During the Renaissance period, man. It's called iconoclasm. They changed all the ancient images and made them look like them. They gave them all pale faces. When they all had dark faces, man, they were brown men, so called black men. They changed. All the they changed. Hey, I'm gonna read again. It says, and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images, how they look. 
They changed all the images and made them in, uh, to make them look like them, man. <laughs> hey, man, you heathens are finished, man. Rightfully so, man. Rightfully so. And I'm going to get, uh, let's see. I think I got one more scripture lined up. Let's see. Um, yeah, I forgot to get this Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. I wanted it to fall right in line with that light when I brought out that light, man. But I'm going to get it anyway. It says Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. It says, who is, as who is as the wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed. See, wisdom maketh that man face to shine. That's that light that the elect possess, man. That wisdom. Knowing that Yahweh Shah looks like us, man. A so called Negro, man. You know? But, but, let's get that straight, man. You know, all Israelites are not going to come out looking just like so called Negroes, man. Israel was scattered. Let's not forget that. Israel was scattered into all nations. So, Israel is going to come out looking like all other nations. But there's their, their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You know, let's get that straight now. All Israelites are not gonna be going are not gonna look like so-called Negroes, man. We do not teach that over here at Great Millstone. Start with our elder apostle to hold on down, you know. But that's that light we possess. We know that we are not black. We're all different shades of brown, man. And like I said, man, if an Israelite do look like a so-called white person, you know, if their spirit agrees, because we try the spirit by the spirit, and if their spirit agree with our teachings, you know, start with the other apostle on down, then they might just be an Israelite, man. You know, because the, the spirit bear witness with itself, man, that we are the children of the Most High, man. So from now, I think I'm going to get a... Uh, what else I had lined up? I think that's pretty much the point. Let's see. Yeah, I pretty much got everything. I think I got probably two more scriptures. Let's see. I got that one. I think I got one more or so. I'm going to get this scripture here and I'm going to close out. Um, <clears throat> get 2 Corinthians chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 8. It says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak, and ye are strong. And this also we wish, even your perfection. Therefore, I write these things being absent, lest being present, I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord has given me to it, to edification and not to destruction. Finally, brethren, farewell, be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace and the, and the power of love and peace shall be with you. Yep. So, hey, man, that's pretty much the point, man. They hurt by this sign, man. You know, <laughs> they hurt by this sign, man. You know, so I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadas, double honest to all positive and elders of great mills, the old teaching rule well. You know, being the younger brothers is coming, being a great example to us younger brothers is coming into this truth, man, and, and, and in his faith. You know, they, they rule well. You know what I'm saying? Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole elect, man. You Akium and you Akwathium, you know, that believe in this truth as well, man. So I'm going to let the video play one more time. I'm going to say Shalom. Intersection of South 18th Street and Texas Avenue in Monroe is turning heads for some residents. Fox 14's Brian Briggs brings us more information about the religious group behind the sign and how one resident feels about it being in Northeast Louisiana. If you 
move somebody just a little bit, uh, and they run with that, that can go any route. Hunter Bailey has saw this sign at the intersection of South 18th Street and Texas Avenue in Monroe, and it had to say something. The sign displays information about the religious group Israel United in Christ, based out of Jackson, Mississippi. But it's not about what's on the sign that's carrying hands. IUIC is a smaller denomination of the black Hebrew Israelites, which has been deemed a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is due to affiliations made by those charged with hate crimes. The Anti-Defamation League breaks them down as follows. Another sect of Black Hebrew Israelites is Israel United in Christ. The group's mission is to spread the Black Hebrew Israelite ideology and to educate Black individuals of their true place in society. They are committed to spreading the ideology globally and recruiting as many Black individuals as possible. This also includes individuals of Latino and Native American descent. On their official website, they state the following. Yes, that was the past, not meant to stir up bitterness, but rather a desire for truth. Knowing the past will make us understand the future. Knowing the past, according to the Lord, will help alleviate many things that trouble our minds. While this group claims that they'll be preaching their message in a non-violent way, residents have mixed emotions about the sign being here and their presence here in the Twin Cities. I've talked to a few who don't are not for violence. They're just for uh, spreading what they claim to be true. Just last year, you see, you saw a person who claimed to be a Hebrew Israelite um, attempt to kill people who they think are the fake Jews. Not that it matters, ultimately, uh, whether how the depiction of Christ is, but what does matter is uh, getting the truth across and not spreading lies. It's Fox 14 News. Fox 14 tried to reach out to the IUCIU Jackson office, but they were unavailable for comment. Bailey says he's open to conversations with the group should they decide to set up a local branch here. And we don't want a place in this society, man. We ready for our Lord and Savior to come back to put all you heathens in submission, man. Shalom.